Hi, this is Teresa Kogut. This was supposed to be my first video for Kogut Studio Uncut, but because of technical difficulties, I decided to just make this a speed painting video. So that's why there's a lot of talking at the beginning because I was really sharing a lot of information with you. But anyways, so let's just move on. I this painting is called Redbird's Home. I struggled through this painting because I didn't have a clear picture of what I was going to do as far as color. And as always, I start out with the dark undertones and just getting paint on the canvas. Because once I have color down, then I can decide where I want to go from there. I didn't want your typical blue sky and green grass. I wanted, I'm trying to, you know, reach outside the box and do some different things with my paintings and it can be a struggle, but it's part of the creative process. And in order to grow as an artist, you do have to do, try some different things. So I definitely tried some different things and I got to a point where I was just kind of frustrated. And that's one of the reasons I really thought this would have been good for Kogut Studio Uncut because you could see the struggle and hear my frustration as I was painting during this video. Oh, I was just showing you the red paint that I love from Golden. I tend to be putting a lot of red paint in my paintings lately. And as you can see, like I'll stop and talk to the camera because like I said, this was going to be my first Kogut Studio Uncut video. To learn more about that, I will have a link for you to be able to go and check out you know, what that's all about. But I'm really excited about it. It's something new that I'm doing and it's uh, going to be a lot of fun. So, you know, I did the blue leaves instead of doing the green leaves, and I just wanted it to be really whimsical and fun and different than what I've been doing. Oh, this was funny. So then I wanted it a little bit light, so then I did, you know, white. And I was doing a lot of dry brushing where you can see. I, that's why I went and, did, you know, used my dryer on it because I love dry brushing where you can see the texture of the canvas and you can see the under painting. But I realized that white made it look like snow and I thought, okay, that's a little bit too white because here it is. And then I remember saying, well, you know, it is possible. I live in Michigan, so you can have tulips blooming and still have snow, but I decided to cover it up. So then I added the green and then here again, going back to the typical, you know, green grass, and I really didn't want to do that, but. But that's why, what I'm saying, it was, this whole painting was such a struggle. And even at the end, I wasn't sure if I was 100% finished with it. I did like adding this darker blue. I thought that was a little too bright, so I do go over it with a darker blue. I added the stars, mm, didn't like that, painted over them. <laughs> But it's one of those things, the more I worked on it, the more it started coming to life. So here again, I go over there and I dry, dry the painting so that I can do some more dry brushing over top. So then I darken the leaves and I liked that better, but I just thought they were these dark blobs, like they needed some texture or something to them. Pattern, maybe texture, I don't know. It needed something. Oh, and I lightened the burr, but then it was, you know, it's too pink, so I just, and I like when I added the red down there. I wasn't planning on adding any red other than on the bird in the house because I wanted those two to be so connected. But adding that red, those little dots of red and the little flowers really helped, I think, to tie the whole painting together. And even at the end of this painting, I think I'm going to lighten those trees. I don't show it but I am going to lighten those trees because they stand out too much, I think, and it takes away from the house. 
So then I add these dots on there on the <laughs> leaves and I'm like, oh, that's awful. I don't like it at all. So then I just go back over them. <laughs> oh, and here I add some little, using my, what I thought was an acrylic marker is actually oil paint, but I go draw some more little flowers and little accents. And I didn't like the accents that I added on the tulips. I mean, like I said, I really struggled with this painting. Yeah, see how I added those? I think that looks awful. So then I add a different color. Still awful. So see, I go back and cover up those dots. Go back and cover up what I put on the flowers. But you know, that's the fun part of painting, especially with acrylics. You could try things, and if you don't like it, you just paint over it. It's not like that with watercolor. So here I'm using a color pencil, just putting little details on those little red flowers. Now I go through and outline everything with white, which I thought was really kind of a cool accent. A little more detail in those little green flowers, I mean. And I do think the final things I will do is, like I said, is lighten those trees. And then on that little butterfly, I think I'm going to put a little bit more navy blue in there. I added stripes to the flowers. I'm not sure I like that either, so I may be changing that. But all in all, it was fun. It was frustrating, but it was fun. It took me over two hours to do this painting. And like I said, I probably have another half hour to go. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.